All right, what's up? Welcome back to 918 Disc Golf. Today, we're out here at Riverside Park in Tulsa, but there's a little twist. We're bag swapped. Let's get into it. All right, Riverside is notoriously an easy course, but anytime you have any wind factored in, it adds a little bit of difficulty to it. And of course, we're also doing a bag swap, so it makes it that much harder. All right, hole one is gonna be 330 feet, arguably the hardest hole on the course. You've got OB and Beyond on the left in the road with the pucker factor of hitting a car. And then you have the trees on the right side of the fairway. You gotta go down the middle. All right, we're gonna go F2. We're gonna see what this thing does. That was really good. That disc is a damn near roller for me. Instinct it is. I'm really just hoping it flies like an F2. Not that F2, but a good F2. Oh, how do you get through everything? All right, Nolan's a weirdo and puts his putters in the side pocket. I don't know why you'd ever do that. But uh, Isaac Robinson PA3 is what I'm putting with today. Wow, it's almost like PA3s are the greatest putter ever made. P2s, right, Jacob? Yep, P2s. No bead is weird for me, guys. No good. Hole two, 310. It's uh, under the second tree out there. Once again, road left is OB. There is kind of a hyzer skip line or forehand or if you want to go, lots of options. Uh, me and Jacob are going to say you can't throw the same disc back to back, um, excluding putting. So he can't throw that up too. I can't throw the instinct. All right, we're going to go H1. We're going to go the hyzer line. Two trees to hit. I'll probably hit one of them. Skip. Uh, that's about as long of a putt I had on the first hole. We're gonna go fireball and we're gonna go forehand. And hit the tree inside. Oh. That's the door creaking open, boys. Two for two with a back swap and PA threes. This could be nasty. I mean, Good putt. These just have more glide than I'm used to. All right, hole three, tee sign down, 420 feet. Arguably the hardest hole on the course. You still have the road on the left, and you have walking path and beyond OB on the right. Ideal play is a backhand that'll turn over and then carry and stable out at the end. Stay in bounds! Oh no, I have found OB. A little bottom stand boss. I've never thrown a boss, so this could go anywhere. Kind of in my spot, um, that stayed straighter longer than I thought it did, would. The biggest problem with Jacob's bag is besides his own, he doesn't really have overstable putters. I have a PA2, I have A2s, but this is pretty new to his bag. It says 3202, so we're gonna just trust it on Heiser and hope it doesn't do anything crazy. Well short. That's a putt. You gotta throw the disc first to fly. All right, we're going PX3 on the approach. Somebody tried to throw me back in bounds. I appreciate you, um, but we're not cheaters here. Straighter than I thought, but it's uh, it's a putt. These things have some glide. I gotta, I gotta really spin them. Good putt. Almost popped out the side. Oh four. Two forty-five on the hillside. Uh, you can't throw a forehand, but with the hillside in the wind, the little backhand skip shot is probably the best. I'm going zone. I hope this thing is somewhat stable. I have no idea. Oh! That got scary for a second. It got scary the whole time. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the Isaac Robinson archive on this hole. Get in front of it. 
What kind of skip? Headwind uphill with a really, really floaty putter. I would argue headwind downhill's worse. I don't think so, because if I get this nose up, it's coming back to me. Mm. Yeah, Which but I'm I can nose, also soar. I'm a nose up putter. I also soar past the basket, though, if I do mine. Hey, guys, watch your heads. This might be coming right back at you. Comment down below. Is headwind uphill harder or headwind downhill? I'm arguing team headwind downhill putt. Headwind uphill. All day. Counterpoint. I'm not a spin putter, so I don't fight the wind like you do. I that's lost valid. my putt. That's fair, that's fair, that's fair. I didn't think he was gonna miss today. We love to see it. <laughs> that is. That is the most brutal roll away I've had on this hole ever. It doesn't matter. The man is goaded outside 25 feet with a PA3. <laughs> Taking the knee. Sinks it. Too tall. Hey, real quick intermission before we get back into the content on hole five. Over the past month, we asked you guys to help us grow and subscribe and like the videos, all that good stuff. And you guys went above and beyond. We did not quite hit 500 by the end of January, but we did gain 92 subs last month. So for those of you that did subscribe, thank you guys so much. It means a lot to us. Uh, to those that didn't, but if you'd like to help us continue to grow in the month of February, please consider liking and subscribing this video. But with that out of the way, let's get back into hole five. All right, hole five, 230 foot par three, arguably the hardest hole on the course. You've got road and cars that way. You've got path OB on the left. Gotta go up the middle again. Oh, sit. Might have gone a little long. Nolan, right. what, did, what did I throw just now? That was an M3. M3. All right. What are you yeah. throwing? I am throwing a hex. Uh, I hate MVP. I hate everything overmold, but this is the straightest this guy has in his bag, and that's what I like throwing. All right. So. If you guys dislike what Nolan said, you can just unsub. Honestly, <laughs> it's all good. Shout out to you, Blake. Here's your hex. I don't think it has an overmold left on it. Nolan? Can we get a hex, yeah? Hex, no. <laughs> what is this? AVR3. Let's go inside. Throw a little touchy forehand up there. Oh, that went dead straight. Set! That's a putt. Found myself long in the basket on five, which kind of sucks because it's a headwind. Don't do that. <laughs> the roller again. <laughs> um... Technically, that's Jacob's bag. So far, I like the PA3s, but these things like to roll, dude. Like, I never get these rollaways with my P2s. That's what happens when you hit band, Jacob. When you hit it in the center, they stick. They do stick. They actually have a nice grip to them. Big fan of that. Oh no. Look at that, no roll away. Hole six, 260, it's up there on the hill. Pretty much a spike forehand. I guess you could throw a turnover uh, with this tailwind. It's just a forehand for me. See if this zone does me good this time. Wow. Get over there. That is pretty close it's for a little short. Yeah, that's like, that's a disadvantage for me. It's like, no one doesn't have names on his this, it just says Prodigy. And then his name. This is his signature series FX2. Prodigy, if you hear this, I would love a signature series FX2. Skip! Man, right Prodigy does just roll, dude. They just roll forever, man. Can you make another one with a good PA3? Good butt. All right, hole seven, 365 feet right out there. It's a big hyzer. Arguably the hardest, um, it's over. I'm done with that one. Um, yeah, just throw a hyzer, you'll get there. Oh no. It's going left early. That just grabbed the ground like my, like, these discs are so inconsistent on the ground, man. That just, like, and it's sad. 
All right, tailwind boss. This is being kind of state turned on me. I'm hoping with the tailwind it's stable. Oh, that thing just shot out of the sky. That's short. Jacob's got another 25 footer. He's been knocking these down all day though, so. I, uh, you know, I'm not surprised. Now I get to putt with some balloons. <laughs> Absolute balloons. Cash is it anyway. Hole eight, 275. I mean, it's one of the most straightaway holes there is out here. We got a couple on the back nine, but this one's pretty, pretty much right there. I'm gonna throw what I think is a flippy PA or P2. PA2, I wish. Oh yeah. Sit. Long. Headwind putt back. All right, we're gonna go back to the PX3. Another thing you guys gotta realize is I have one Prodigy disc in my bag, and if no one threw it, it would be a straight roller, because it's my roller disc. So like, we're pretty much, I don't throw Prodigy. He doesn't throw any of the things I throw. It just like makes this video that much more fun. Nope, that is not an ace run. The thing's probably a touch too stable for this shot for him. Probably. Like tailwind. For those that don't know at home, crosswind putts for anybody that has like, like a slight spin, slight lofty putt. These putts are so deadly because it just carries it so far. You got to aim a little right. He's going to overcorrect and miss right. I'm calling it. Not that right. Hey guys, I called it. Dang it. They don't roll, do they? Look at it rolling back Definitely towards- Definitely don't roll. Hey, it's rolling back towards the basket at least. There it is. Good putt. All right, hole nine, 235 feet, plays through the gap, or a little hyzer forehand on the left-hand side. Par three, only danger is the path OB. It's going distortion here. The great depth for this hole. That's ah, pretty good. All right, uh, Jacob's zone is not a zone. It's a wannabe zone that has no stability to it. Um, so we're gonna go straight at it with the ABR3. Oh, it's got more stability than I gave it credit for. Set! All right, we have a putt. Would you say that the zone is a place and not a zone? Good putt. They don't feel terrible, they don't feel great. That's all I'm gonna say. Two birds. Bolt 10, 320. You could throw a forehand over your OB path or just a big hyzer. I'm going back to this instinct. Give it the height and let it crash in. Oh gosh. Well, you gave it some height and it crashed in to the tree. Sounds crazy, <clears throat> Falcor. 320 feet, but we're gonna go big hyzer. I was gonna hit the same tree I did. That was a fortunate break. I went through the tree. Oh my goodness. Can Jacob keep the streak alive? 20-ish footers, PA3 is dead center? Or is this a band roll away? Neither, I'll hit the cage and sit. I can't blame the wind on that one. You don't get it in the air, it can't do anything. Hole 11, par three, 335 feet. Usually for a righty, it's just a big hyzer. Um, to go over around the trees. Path and beyond on the left is OB. Uh, it should be up there for a putt. That's like 40 past the basket. Maybe you don't throw so hard. Yeah, if I even get close, this will be a miracle. Got it there, but it's so short. Good putt. Can you make another 22 footer? I mean, you can't argue with success, right? All right, Jacob picked up one on me. I'm pretty sure we're tied. Um, hole 12, 350, another hyzer or forehand, path left is OB. Path right is OB. Kind of plays like Peninsula, so 
I think this is another Emperor. It cool is, stamp. yeah. Gonna blast it out there. If I can get it to go as far as the last shot, we'll be chilling. Swing. Oh my gosh. That's actually up there. It's probably like inside or just outside the circle. Going uh, pink Falcor. I went reverb blast hole, so this is a different disc. Pink Falcor, less stable one. He has a yellow one, it's a little more stable. Zico's so been loving this disc today. It's, it's my crutch. Skip. That is incredible. The amount of ground play that I just got from that was awesome. Another headwind putt, crazy. And I still have balloons for putters, so see what this happens. What happens here? Oh, hearted. I am the goat. He refuses to get big putted. All right, hole 13, 300 feet. Another hyzer shot. Uh, just don't go left of the path. Is it OB? That is OB. Oh, he really released that. That went left, guys. I it's it. uh, it's past the path, and it went to grandmother's house. We're going ABR three again. We gotta trust the stability on this one. Get in the air, skip. That's at least a putt at it. I wanted to go through the branch because I thought that would be sick, and now I'm regretting my decision. Here's the problem, guys, is he didn't call that prior, so now he just looks like a loser. All right, hole 13. Not even arguably, actual, factually, the hardest hole in the course for me today. Don't roll. Not terrible. Still gains two strokes. The good so news up is, yeah. uphill headwind, I don't think is, uh, I don't think it's that difficult. I think that's what that proves. We'll give him this one. He can't afford to lose anymore. Hole 14, 250. Uh, one of three ace holes back to back. This is the first. Oh, I pulled it right. See, I like to fight the wind. We're gonna go FX2, keep this low. Play a little skip to the basket. Don't cut your hand. I feel like I'm going to, man. It's gonna slice me open. Ah! <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. It wasn't that bad. Not an ace run, but I did slice my finger open. Oh. Yeah, you love to see it, honestly. Oh. <laughs> Don't go into traffic. Oh, we love to see it, as Jacob would say. <laughs> All right, hole 15, 260 feet, par three. Place right out there. Second of. No one said three ace holes. I think there's four, really. Hole 17 is pretty aceable. True. So, right up there. I knew that, that was going to happen. That was, uh, that was an F2. Don't buy them. They're terrible. Is this a bad idea? Yes. Yes, it is. Do I still hate gyro? Yes. Yes, I do. Pyro? Pyro. If this isn't as beefy as he has told me, then I'm going to be severely disappointed. Oh, no. <laughs> That's pretty beefy, dude. That hit the ground quick. We're going to the only thing I could trust today. ABR3. Oh, no. That's just fine. Don't that is so bad. Don't even go there. Little jumper. Less than ideal wind. We'll see if we can put it close. Nolan has a tester, so I could take a stroke here. That was about all I could give it. That looked clean. Hole 16, 200 feet. Hole three out of four that are aceable. It's literally right there. Um, do I ever get close now? We're gonna throw the AVR three though. This is my crutch. Oh, that's, that's like muddy and bad and I'd say you put the pressure on yourself. I haven't used this much today because I don't really know why, actually. <laughs> Distortion. Oh, 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 okay. I like the flight of that, actually. The headwind kept it straighter than I thought it would. This is the putts that Nolan makes because he can. Not that one, though. Yes. That's what we needed. That's that downhill headwind putt. 
because it's downhill. This basket, what the heck, man? But did you see that it didn't roll away? Well, you're rolling away. Hole 17, 240 feet, right on the hillside. There is a nice little manicuring on the green that TDSA did this last year with Tulsa, or with Riverside Parks, let me correct myself. It's excellent. Do it. Did I go long? All right, Jacob's pretty much tapped in with how many putts he's hit today. So um, we're gonna try this again. No promises it goes any better than the first time. There's just no tree to really hit off the tee, so I should be good. Good shot. Disc is in the crack, playing from behind the lie. Jacob, you wanna, you know, don't do it, don't do it. Thank you. Hole 18, 300 feet. Kinda wanna throw it at the big tree out there and just let it fade away from it. Um, going back to this instinct, last time I threw this, I hit a tree. We just wanna get one out there and put the pressure on Jacob. Don't flip, get left. Normally I would go back to the uh, FX2, but I just threw it on the last hole, so I can't do that again. It's a bad excuse, I have three in the back. H1. Oh, that's a beaut. Now sit. And <laughs> it did. That's pretty that much- That might be danger. Behind the camera, both of these putts are actually testers, even mine over there. I'm closer than I thought and I'm not behind the tree, so I have to make, I have to make this to put the pressure on Jacob. Freaking balloon, man. Just go in the basket. <laughs> I suck. I'm bad. I That's, am not the goat. I am tough. a garbage Tulsa disc golfer that knows nothing about putting. That's tough, man. Oh, he just had to prove a point. I mean, I have the, I had to show the ice and the veins. It's the putters. Don't go there. You know those putters are goaded. I have to agree. Although they rolled away on me early, they still held true to where I wanted them to go. The PA3s have found a special place in my heart. Call me Hunter Thomas. Nolan's in pain. I'm having fun. I want you guys to let us know. Do you think it's more embarrassing to get beat by your own discs? Or do you think it's a compliment that the discs that you throw are that good that anybody could throw them? I personally think that it's embarrassing and Nolan should be sad, but you let us know. I let myself down today and my discs helped you win. That's my, that's my stance and I, I'm standing by it. With that, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.